3d on the review sheet is y equals x minus 1 to the power 2 thirds minus x plus 1 to the power 2 thirds. And we're first going to start off by finding the zeros of this function. Okay, so the zeros of this function. And we have to be very careful because when we make this equation equal to 0, so I'm going to make it equal to 0 and then put the minus on the other side. So I end up with an equation that looks like this, x plus 1. We end up with something that looks like that. Now, this with this equation, we can essentially undo the square and cube root and square and cube root on both sides. However, we have to be careful. This is one thing to make a note of. This even power means that we get plus minus for both of those sides. So then we have to consider when we solve this equation that we're going to get these scenarios. We're going to get positive positive. We're going to get positive negative. We're going to have negative positive and negative negative. Okay, so I'm going to undo the square root, the square and the and the cube root here. And in the positive positive scenario, so I'm going to just get rid of this here. And again, make note that this is to do with it, this even power in the numerator here. So I'm going to end up with x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1. Okay, when that happens, the x's cancel out. I end up with negative 1 equals 1. There's no solution here. So for the plus plus, there's no solution. So then I should consider the positive minus situation. I end up with x minus 1 is equal to negative x minus 1. I can solve this. I get 2x equals 0, x equals 0. So there's one solution. So I have a 0 at 0, and I'll have to consider the negative positive solution. So I end up with negative x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1. The plus 1s cancel out again, so I end up with 2x on this side equals 0. Again, x equals 0, so this is the same solution as I got previously. Then I have to consider the final situation, negative, negative. So I end up with negative x plus 1 is equal to negative x minus 1. The x's cancel out. I end up with 1 equals negative 1. Again, that's never true, so there's no solution here. Okay, so that represents the zeros of the function. So that means then, if I, when I'm graphing this, I end up with a point at... 0, 0. Okay, so then I'm moving on to the derivative of this. So I'm going to rewrite this function again. So I end up with y equals y equals x minus 1 to 2 thirds minus x plus 1 to 2 thirds. And I'm going to differentiate this function. So I end up with y prime is equal to 2 over 3 x minus 1 to negative 1 third minus 2 over 3 x plus 1 to the negative 1 third. And then I'm going to rewrite this equation just so I can see my restrictions a little bit better. But I end up with x minus 1 to the one third or cube root and 2 over 3 x plus 1 to the one third. So I want to solve this for the equation equal to 0 but before I do that I need to make sure that I state my restrictions. x cannot be equal to plus or minus 1. These represent non-differentiable points and these are critical points. Okay, so these are critical points. So I just want to highlight these, make sure that we don't forget these points here. Okay, these are non-differentiable points and they need to end up on our slope chart. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and solve this equation. And solving this equation here, I end up with 2 over 3x minus 1 to the 1 third 
is equal to 2 over 3 x plus 1 to the 1 third and basically I can eliminate all these terms and I know that that x minus 1 I can cross multiply all this and cancel this and basically I get x plus 1 to the 1 third equals x minus 1 to the 1 third. I can undo the 1 third by cubing both sides and I do not have to worry about plus minus in this case unlike the previous one because the 1 third is an odd power. So I end up with x plus 1 equals x minus 1. I get 1 equals negative 1. Again, this represents no solution. Okay, so there's no zeros for this. However, there are two non-differentiable points I need to put in my slope chart. So when I go back to my graph here, I'm going to do my slope chart. So I have my x values, I have my f prime values, and at negative 1, a non-differentiable point. At positive 1, a non-differentiable point. And then I 